nakatutok pa rin kayo sa Game 1 of the Finals featuring San Miguel and Magnolia. Concerns on Magnolia's readiness and conditioning have been thrown left and right pero mabilis na ibinatoto ni Coach Chito Palabas because Coach Chito has been preaching that these two teams are teams of power. At this point, it's more of a mental game at ang mental toughness ang magiging biggest difference maker in the end. Dahil nga paulit-ulit si Coach Chito even before the on-tour tournament dito, veterans like Mark Baroka can't help but wonder why they are still reminded this way. But look at where those reminders brought the hot shots. Speaking of Mark Baroka, he has also been throwing concerns on his hamstring that nagged him in the semis out the window. So nothing to worry about for Magnolia fans, gentlemen. So healthy, healthy, uh, Magnolia. Tapos, a uh, adjustment na palang ginawa nila. Naiwan na sila nung umpisa, pero ngayon lamang na sila. Ito si Marshall Lassiter. Ano ba ang atake ng San Miguel? Baka bawi rito. Nawala na sa kanilang lamang. Perez, Ross, tapos naka... So it's gonna stay with Magnolia. And maganda dito kay Coach Tito, guys. Off timeout, dalawang beses na nag-zone. So off those timeouts, you're thinking San Miguel's plotting something sa man-to-man. Nag-iba siya ng tema, nag-zone na naman, and it worked. They got it two stops. Five turnovers right now for San Miguel and one for Magnolia. Pass goes into Baroka. Five and a half to go in the first quarter. Baroka takes the jumper, jumped inside that three-point line. What a boost he has been since he went into the game. Well, you look at Magnolia they're really changing it up on defense after a basket. And now you look at them, they're nakapantuman naman sila. Kanina, sumuha na sila off the timeout. That's what Coach Luigi said. Bangani, the one player. both right knocking down the defender, Abu Trater. Slow to get up. Both rights holding on to his thigh. Must have felt that bump because Strother's a big boy himself. Well, you know, boom, two hood. <laughs> and they expect guys, multiple guys on both rides. Mm -hmm. no? First it was Levis, you can have Bay, you can have a Pueba, Trotter. As the series goes, Papaguri talaga yan. And I like what the uh, Abu Trotter is doing against Benny Boat. Right? They're really pushing him and no. keeping contact even if he's past that three point line. Kasi alam naman natin ito si Benny Boat, right? Once he gets that basketball, doesn't matter where he is. Kahit nandyan sa may logo, titira yan. Pwede, pero para si Marshall after, nakadalawang outside shot na. Para itapla yung ating score at 14, pero... Mark Baroka means business so far since he entered off the bench. Six points already for Mark Baroka. So it's been him and Gio Halala who's definitely uh, changed the game for the hot shots. And then CJ attacking once again. And this time, hindi napasok ang layup. Ngunit, nakakuha naman ng foul. So tutungo sa linya si Jamar Perez. Ito yung tira ni Baroka. Simple, simple, no? But a lot of experience. He just reads it. Probably, arguably, one of the best mid-range players. You know, once he gets it in the three and he, he jab takes, once he gets to that mid-range, sure ball na yan. Especially in the past two or three seasons, so he's really picked up yung accuracy niya. So working on that shooting touch, no, si Mark Baroka. He was posting during the off-season yung kanyang mga workouts, di ba? Shooting drills na ginagawa niya. And, and you can, it's really shown in the games. Yung mga average na ng semis, 18.7 rebounds, CJ Perez. And in this game, he's already got seven points. Halalon, inside to Tyler Bay, nice backdoor cut. Zunmar is able to stop Bay from committing, uh, from uh, making the basket, pero may foul naman. If we look at that pass, seemed a little bit risky. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's outside. Because they're so big <laughs> also. Oh, no, you look at San Miguel with both right, who's almost as tall as Zunmar and Laki. I don't see uh, Tyler Bay though, what a leaper he is. So he's shown that. Uh, during the games, but when they when they throw it up for eye in the sky plays, he goes way up there to slam it home. Two for two from the line. Remember, you knock out game uh, when they knocked out TNT in the quarters. He scored 16 out of 16 from the free throw line. And the advantage that Bay has, guys, he can play the three and the four. Outside shot from three to see both right people match up. Number one, you left reset. Masyado malakas pa rin, and Bay come down with the rebound. Look at how high he got up there. Yun lang sa rebound na yun. Almost. Ang haba. There's a short shot from Ian Sandilang. 
And this is a boost para kay Coach Chito Bicolero. Remember, he missed a lot of time. Yes. Did play. Yes. Uh, he had that injury or that, that sickness uh, that he was dealing with. But slowly has worked his way back to Ian Sangalang uh, level. Yeah. And you're, you're happy to see him back again. Ready? Yeah, Quick fine. spin. Charlie, aside from that, diba ang maganda rin, habang uh, nagpapalakas pa itong si Ian Sangalang, nabigyan ng opportunity itong si James Lamb. So, Correct. Diba? So, naging uh, twin towers sila. And then, meron pang Rocky Lidis, meron ka bang Abu Dhabi. Diba? Talk about how deep that front line is. Exactly. No, naging malalim na rin, nakapick up sila ng mga players. Nasipa yung bola ni Jericho Cruz. So, shot clock, binalik sa 14 seconds. Tapos, papasok na, naghiyawa ng fans. Bakit? The beast is in the house and... Coach Luigi Trillo knows a little bit about this fellow. He came into the league and uh, was under Coach Luigi Trillo. At nabanggit nga ni Calvin recently in an interview. Gusto ko na mag-champion kasi ang tagal na. Mula nung muling championship ko. 2013. Bata-bata pa si Coach Luigi Trillo noon. <laughs> diba? 23 pa lang yata si Coach Luigi noon. <laughs> Yun na nga. <laughs> Tyler Bale left it for Calvin. Instant offense. Not this time. Jericho Cruz, you know, you look at the weapons of San Miguel Beer and you shake your head and say, wow, they can go to any of these five. That's thrown too long, but there was a touch mula sa hot shot, so it stays with San Miguel. 15 to shoot, 3-0-2 na titira sa ating first period. This is game one of the Commissioner's Cup Best of Seven Finals. So it should be a good series between these two teams. Cruz, short range as well, too strong. Balls on the floor, and Rome De La Rosa could not save it from going out of bounds. Six seconds to shoot now. Charlie, you can see here in San Miguel, they're not really comfortable with yeah. the offense that they're running. Uh, the defense Parang of Bagul is still confusing them. It's like a papa. Is it a zone? Is it a man? Whoa! Boatwright lost his footing. June Mark takes the outside shot. It's a miss, and Bay gets another rebound. He averages about 13 of those. Abueva outside to Tyler Bay. Now Baroka, lots of time sa kanilang shot clock. Lassiter watching Tyler, they go to Rome De La Rosa. Attacks the paint, puts it up, won't drop it, one and the follow-up does not go para kay Ian Sangaran. The big thing about Mongolia, they really gave a lot of energy. That's been their M.O. ever since. Yeah, Junmar takes that outside shot. It rolled out, almost made it. Benny Boatwright tried to save it, but they're going to call a loose ball foul against Benny Boatwright. <laughs> and and guys, if you think about it, Calvin's the third defender on Boatwright. Yep. Right? Yep. Right? 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 I think. And then it became Trotter. And I don't know, guys, if Boatwright, as, as exceptional as he is, ito, tinmo yung girihan sa loob, if he's seen so many guys... And Best for him like that. And, and that's different looks, right? That's why, that's why Magnolia is number one in defense. And different looks. Oh. Oh. Kanina, pinipressure siya ni Abu dun sa malayo. Good point. And this time, itong si Calvin Abueva naman down low. Calvin missed. So did Ian. Couldn't control that offensive rebound. But sa kanila pa rin ang possession because of the hustle of the two Baste boys. And uh, Terrence Romeo, who's seeing action. You know, there was a question mark whether he could get in. Because kasi parang may iniinda nga daw siya doms, di ba? Pero mm -hmm. andyan na siya kayo. What a time for Romeo to come in. But you know, since they put Baroka in, it's changed, right? They were down 11-4, Baroka came in, he set the tempo in, and then now you have all these energy guys like Abueva coming in. And to see Baroka, you mentioned him. He's changed the game up a bit for Magdolia. Tyler Bay takes a short one, doesn't go. They'll both ride the rebound. Let's see if Terrence Romeo can get going. Dito sa in first quarter with a minute and 36 to go. Romeo dancing with Baroka. Abueva shows. They throw it away one more time. Baroka, three on two. And there's Bay, one more time. Oh, oh. The double cut slam. We talk about the Magnolia hot shot forcing turnover after turnover. That's the seventh turnover right now of San Miguel. And grabbing yung defense, guys. I mean, it's suffocating defense. Abueva almost got that one. Better both by the pass. And look at that. Abueva first tried, he failed, but Rome De La Rosa backing him up. And multiple guys. I mean, five guys defending. Ito, this is a slow-mo, Charlie and Dom. Look at that. He pumps it, slams it home. That's the best move of the game brought to us by Honda. The official motorcycle of the PBA. Shades of Dominique Wilkins. <laughs> I thought when you said Dominique, 
Hindi ikaw, hindi ikaw yung partner. Hindi ikaw yung partner. Pump fake, pump fake. Hindi, yung nagpasa. Don't lay up ka na. Oh, no, no, pass. But June Mar read that second one. Just 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's been a game of runs. Magnolia now is on one. There's Mo Tautua, the masked man, because he hurt his nose. Uh, Hadalang huling laban contra sa Ginebra. Tony Bishop's uh, elbow caught him right on the nose. Abueva free. No go. He gets it back. Slapped away by Junmar. Up ahead to Jericho. Now it's back with T. Tyler Bay nakabantay sa kanya. Almost lost it. Now Don Trolliano. He'll try to go baseline. The spin on the way up. Napunta kay Jutmar. In and out. And Bay another rebound. They're bothering some together. No? Yeah, they that ang defense. Havani Bay and Galvin. It's another level defensively. And look at Baroka attacking immediately. He saw that clock. Could have wasted time already for the last shot. But you can see that there's a little opening, he's going to fall, and he's going to free throws. That's really the defense that's starting it out for Mongolia, forcing those turnovers into easier shots, into fast breaks. You know, the first time, the 11-4 run of San Miguel, it's a fast break, right? It's a three layup. Then after that timeout, change in personnel, pressure defense, forcing turnovers. This is Mongolia, up 6 points by 7. And guys, I think Ginebra, is very differently built compared to Magnolia, right? Ginebra, is, it, it fits like San Miguel. They play the same way. They slow the game down. They're good at the half court. But the energy that they have in the Magnolia team, na to, you know, you look at them, Barroca, Halalon, Abueva, Bay. He said, we didn't have to get the knockout game. Ito, the winner to take all. Because, right? We're going to get And you can always count on Barroca. Six to shoot, they go to Don T on the left corner, and he puts that one in, Trolliano! A second to go, Abueva! 